I have been to the unrendered side of the map. It's so beautiful. Hey, this is Zena from VR Focus. I'm here with Josh from Secret Location. It's lovely to be here with you. Hi, thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the game that you're demoing? Yeah, sure. Uh, the game is called Blasters of the Universe. Uh, it is a bullet hell first person shooter. Your quest to take back VR from uh, a self styled VR god, Alan, who was sort of that uh, tragic kid in, in the arcades back in the 90s who was sort of always a few years older than the other kids and a little bit weird but very good at video games. Uh, saw VR when it came out in the 90s and said, yeah, that's for me, and put himself in there. And of course, that industry went away. Uh, and so he's been in there by himself for the past 20, 30 years. Um, and he's sort of gone a little bit crazy. And now we're going back into VR and he's, he's created this world and he doesn't really want to give it up to us. So it's time to take it back. Absolutely. And that's, that's a pretty uh, kind of funny comment on just the whole uh, timeline of VR in itself. Yeah. So hopefully he won't get stuck in there again for another 30 years. I think he's safe that, you know, I think it's here to stay. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And uh, within the game, uh, the most interesting part is probably the uh, assembly of what weapon you're going to use. Mm -hmm. uh, you're able to customise your weapon. I think we have five different pieces for each weapon, so like a frame and, uh, and a barrel and a modifier and stuff like that. So it's really about uh, playing through and unlocking a bunch of different pieces and crafting your weapons and then taking those back into the levels, seeing how that plays out for you, coming back out again and then changing up your loadout and, you know, just trying to customise your weapon to your playstyle. I mean, how many different kind of combinations are there? Uh, we like to say 100,000, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, still to be determined at this point. I think in the current iteration of the game, uh, there's probably five of each piece. So yeah, do the maths on that one. And is there a perfect combination? Uh, yes. <laughs> I think the QA guys like to say there is a perfect one. Um, I have a few different loadouts that I like to play with. Um, there's like uh, a certain lo a loadout that is like super high fire rate, uh, which is always fun to just like unload a full clip across the screen and just see things explode. So yeah, that's probably my favorite one. Awesome. And then uh, the next thing that is quite varied um, are the enemies that you come across. Elwyn, uh, being a virtual space lord, can create anything he likes, but he's actually just really bad at creating things. He tried to make them. He doesn't have really much imagination. He tried to create them in his own image. Uh, except for they're sort of a little bit weird and off kilter. Uh, flying heads. Uh, we have one character called the Doom Boy who is a giant head and he's sort of big and bulky, but he sort of he runs quite light. Uh, nice. Alvin just couldn't get him right, that's he, for sure. He just kind of looked like a robotic baby. Yeah, he is that. like a big robotic <laughs> baby, exactly. Yeah, that's how people describe him. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And uh, what, what's the gameplay like? Uh, it's fast, it's furious, it requires you to, uh, it's room scale, uh, but you definitely have to use your room to like move around. There's quite a lot of bullets coming at you uh, that we ramp up over the level. Um, and so you're blocking with your shield and you're relo reloading your gun uh, and you're trying to dodge those bullets constantly. Awesome. And uh, you say that it's on the Vive? Yep, currently the current, uh, currently we're developing it for the Vive. Um, I. I'd say we could probably be going to different platforms in the future, but we'll see. We need to get through the major development uh, milestones first, and then we'll see what's up. And on the early access, is it going to be this demo that they're going to try out? Um, it'll be a demo that's very close to this. We're still, we have the team back in Toronto that's working on it hard still, and we're polishing up some bits and squashing some bugs and adding, we'll maybe creep in a few more features before we release it. But yeah, it'll be very close to what we play today. Awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. No problems. And for more on Secret Location, check out vrfocus.com.